Welcome everybody, this is your boy Drada Matoro and we are here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more Grand Theft Auto V gaming content. And with that all said, we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install your skin control mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always, make sure you download all of the latest requirements that's in some of the description below. We are going to start this tutorial inside a clean Grand Theft Auto V folder. So make sure you guys do listen and listen very carefully. Unfortunately, this is a skin control source code mod. But I have saved you guys, so you guys don't need to worry. Do not download from here, okay guys, okay? Don't download this, because this is only a source code. As you guys can see by the title, this is a skin control source code. It's not the actual mod, but it's the source code. So inside my description is the skin control actual mod, okay guys? So, Make sure you guys go inside my description below and download the mod from there. And once you guys have completed that, then you guys can go inside my description again and you guys can pick which pair you want. There is multiple pairs in here, so you can just choose whatever skin you want. The pair that I'm going to install is Marsha. So I'm going to install Marsha. So make sure you guys do download the skin control mod inside my description below and we're going to get straight into the tutorial. Now all you guys got to do, okay, since I'm starting this tutorial inside a clean Grand Theft Auto V folder, then I'm going to go and open Open IV. So go to Open IV, go to Grand Theft Auto V Windows. This process will take a few seconds, it all depends on your PC performance. Once the application is open, just head over to Tools and go to ASI Manager. This application will open up, all you guys got to do is install your ASI loader, install OpenIV.ASI, then select Yes, and then install Open Camera. Close your application and just exit out of your open IV. And that's all you guys gotta do from that process. The next thing you gotta do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and open file location. Now, as you guys can see, this is a complete clean folder, except I just installed uh, open IV. So all you guys gotta do is open up your script hook V, extract folder, Head over to your bin folder and select dinput8.dll and scripthookv.dll. Drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. And then just replace if you guys got this. The next thing you gotta do is open up your scripthookv.net extract folder and then select all the files that's in there except for the text files and the .NET 3. Do not install the 3, okay? And then now drag those four files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now this is optional. You guys can uh, install this if you want to, but open up your Trainer V Extract folder, also known as Simple Trainer, and then select TrainerV.ASI, and training of v.i9 and drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now we are going to install Menu. Open up your Menu extract folder, select Menu stuff folder and Menu.asi, drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now what we're going to do is we are going to create a scripts folder. 
right click on your Grand Theft Auto V main folder and refresh. Right click again and create a new folder and name that folder scripts. Please make sure you do spell scripts properly. Press enter once and then press enter again and you'll be redirected to your scripts folder. The next thing we're going to do is install the latest native UI um, inside your scripts folder. So open up your native UI, extract folder, and then now make sure you select native UI 0.1.9.1, okay? And make sure it is the DLL file and drag it inside your scripts folder. And that's all you guys got to do. Now what we're going to do is that we are going to open up our skin control mod. So open up your skin control extract folder. I've got, already got one done here. And inside that folder there will be another skin control folder. So open up that folder. And all you guys got to do is select your skin control.ini and .asi drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder and that's all you guys got to do exit out of your extract folder what we're going to do now is that we are going to change the key you must change the key because the default key is a bug on it so all you guys got to do is go to your skin control dot ini right click and edit with notepad in order to change the key, all you guys got to do is go to your your browser and then just type in keycode.info. I will leave this link inside my description below. Just press any key you want. Just say for an example, to open up your menu, your skin control mod is your like if. Uh, F4 key or F7 key or F10 key. F10 key um, has a bug on it, so F10 won't work, okay, guys? So just choose any key you want, okay? It's up to you. So the key that I'm going to choose is um, B. So my key is 66. So copy that 66. And then now paste it inside your hot key. And there you go. Now my key is B. Now save your INI file and exit out of there. Now double click to check to see if it's saved. 66, yes it is. Now, if you guys want to install skin, your skins, okay? Like my one is Marsha. Open up your skin extract folder. Okay. I'm going to install Marsha. Is inside your extract folder. There will be a skin control.ini. All you gotta do is open up that INI folder and now copy Marsha the name and the whole code, okay? Copy the whole code to the end, okay? Exit out of that. And now right click on your skin control dot ini and edit with notepad. Then now just click on click over here down the bottom under female and then now paste your code right there. And then there we go. See guys, Marsha is right there. And now you will have two pins inside your skin control. You can delete the female gangster if you want to. It's totally up to you, but the female gangster is a default. Now, all you guys got to do next is just save your your skin control mod, and then just exit out of there. And now we are complete. Right click, refresh your game folder. Exit out of your game folder. Right click and refresh your desktop, and I'll see you guys inside the game. And we are back as Franklin. So we're here as Franklin, guys, and we're going to get straight into it. 
So to open up the keys, it all depends on you, on what you have chosen your hot key, okay? So with me, I have chosen and changed my keys to B. So to open up my menu is B. And there you go. You can use your arrow keys to actually change which one you want to do. But the Marsha, okay, all of the peers that you installed, okay, inside your INI file will be inside load. So go to load and you'll see Marsha right there. And there you go. Back up. And then there you go, see? And Marsha's right here. So that is how you guys install your skin control mod and install skins and open up your menu and that's how you 100% work skin control mod uh, so again to open, up, to open up the menu it all depends on your hotkey with mine it is B then use the key your arrow keys to go to load then now uh, you can choose female gangster as well and then now just back out of there and then yeah, see, that's how you guys install skin control mod and install skins and even open up the menu. And I hope you guys do enjoy this mod. And we are back again, guys. So I hope you guys did enjoy that, okay? And I hope you guys do uh, get your skin control mod fixed, okay? But that is how you install skin control mod and your skins and even how to change your keys and open up your menu so i hope you guys did enjoy it but if you guys still get stuck installing this mod then you're more than welcome to comment below and then i'll be more than welcome to help you if you have any other mods that you need help with then comment below and i'll be more than welcome to help you guys out on that too but if i don't reply back to you on time then head over to my Discord server and then just contact me from there. I'm always active on my Discord server, so go and contact me from there and I'll be more than welcome to, to actually help you guys out, okay? So with that said, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you guys did, then smash that like button and subscribe for more Grand Theft Auto V gaming content. I will be uploading more videos this year now and I will be live streaming on PS4 soon. So check on that soon guys, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for watching, peace, and I'm out.